Oh, my grandmother is a fun person. She's all that strict with culture and everything, you know, the way she raised us. Because I grew up with my grandmother. My mother was in the house, but she was always at work. And my grandmother is the one that raised us. She would always be strict that you don't wake up in the morning, go around with your pajamas. Yeah. You must first take a bath before eating breakfast and she, she believes that a person needs to eat breakfast. You can't go throughout the whole day without having breakfast. No, I don't know much about them. Yeah. I just know that um, my grandmother and grandfather, we usually ask them how they met and how did they decide to move to this place out of all places. Okay. So my, grandfa my grandfather was from the Eastern Cape and my grandmother, but she was from the Stakes Braid. And then they, I think they met in Lensburg, and then they decided, okay, they're going to move to Mankis Fontaine. Yeah, it's just after Toast Refier. Yeah. And then from there, they came to the Durans because there was work here, and they used to work at the farms. And then that's how they met, and then they got married, and then they have four children, which is, there's only three, one, three left. It was three girls and one boy. And then my uncle passed away in 2007. And 2004, my grandfather passed away. My great 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 grandfather was originally from the Eastern Cape in, La in Lady Frey, like close to Queenstown. His name actually was the same. Though. And then um, it's really quite a huge family. So because the woman could not call him by name, they started like kind of euphemizing it. So that's where the other the other side of the family you'll see their surnames are Desemel. But then they started using that as a surname. So that's why my grandfather them. They started using the surname December, and then they moved to Stainsburg. It's also in Eastern Cape. That's where you'll find the most Decembers. Like, the most of them are there. Oh, my granny is from Stacksbreed. It's also in Eastern Cape. They met in Lanesburg, I think. My grandfather used to be a truck driver, and my granny used to work in the hotel. That's where they met, and then together they moved to the Druins, where they worked on the farms together, until my grandfather moved to Cape Town. Together they had four children one son and three daughters. We are the um, grandchildren, and then she also has great-great-grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren. Yeah, I actually went to a, to a slave primary school in Somerset West. Yeah, um, and there we used to do like um, annual concerts where we do like the story of the Alabama, stuff like that. In grade six, we did that concert. So I actually know quite, but a lot of the children that like, for example, the Decembers, if we had like slave origins and slave um, great-great-grandfathers and mothers, I'm not sure we'd know that history because it's not actually been recorded and some of it is being misinformed because you'll see that like foreign people teach us about our own history, which does not make any sense to me. Actually not. I actually quite see it as an honor. It's really an honor to me. I don't see it anything as to be ashamed of. I think everyone should be part of the heritage. Okay. okay, usually in December we decide, maybe from the 16th up until the 27th, sometimes we go on a family vacation. We would all as a family go out. And then specifically on the 25th of December, since my grandfather was born on that day, we would make a lunch as a family together. The whole family comes together. Mm. We decide maybe we'll held it in Cape Town or in Eastern Cape or here in Tedorans, wherever the family is. We decide each year where we're going to be having it. And then we'll have a Christmas lunch and we'll eat together we would take pictures, we'd go out that night and all that, yeah, just to celebrate. As Nathan say no December month is very important for us.